What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Natsume Yujin Cho, this time of season 2, episode 1. I uh, absolutely loved the first season, thought it was phenomenal, um, lovely send off as well, seeing pretty much all of the yokai were covered up until that point as well as uh, Natsume and uh, the friends he's made along the way, which um, again, absolutely loved it. Looking forward to seeing what this second season has in store. I don't think it's going to be too different, uh, both in terms of what it covers and in terms of like the animation and such, just because I think I saw this came out only a year after the initial season, so um, that's a, a good thing for me. But um, eventually, again, I know that there's seven seasons, so um, season three, four, five, six, and seven, there's about um, a 15 year kind of time period between those, so uh, there might be some kind of big jumps in animation style and such. Hopefully, not, but uh, we will see. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this episode though down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. And uh, let's get right into it. Obviously, we've got a new opening as well, so looking forward to hearing this. Hopefully, it can be nearly as good as the first couple, the first opening ending. Okay, I like the style already. I think they're all going to have a very similar, lovely style. This one's slightly a bit more upbeat, I'd say. Which makes sense, actually, story wise. <laughs> Here are all the uh, classic friends. I'm not, I don't know who that is. Uh, oh, that might be um, Grandma, probably. Just wearing a bit more of a. Interesting outfit. I like these two a lot. So that is a new character, actually, isn't it? Honestly, there's not too much new here, which is interesting. There was, um, yeah, we pretty much have seen before every character there, but there was that one new uh, character that I thought might have been um, Grandma, but it's not. It's a really smooth animation as well. I really like the, uh, the visuals in this opening. Maybe the visuals might be better than the first, but um, so I really like the song as well. Obviously, the first one I absolutely love. This one is the first time I'm hearing it. This character here, I think she's new. She's like the one new uh, thing we kind of saw there. Um, but yeah, really, really like that. Of course, I had a feeling I would. <laughs> I have a feeling I like all of the openings and endings in the series. But um, yeah, I'm I'm also kind of happy that there's not too much kind of new. I say I say that like it's a negative thing. It's actually like a positive thing in terms of it really doesn't give too much away of what we're going to be covering this season, which is good. And it will be good just to like solidify a lot of the relationships we've built up to this point as well. That's why I like last episode quite a bit. Oh dear. You know what, I was kind of, I wouldn't say famous, but I was, I was kind of famous for uh, moving the ball at people <laughs> when I was younger. Yeah, no, it, was a, it was a way of like improving in a sense, like I'd, I'd aim for someone. If I could hit him, that was good accuracy, so. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit of a delinquent kid. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> what the fly? I can handle himself. Oh, that's a very fitting one. Stolen Book of Friends. Oh no, that doesn't bode well. I would like to see more of these guys. And I think we will do as the story goes on. They, they are nice from what I've seen. But we've never had much of a focus on these two, have we? We had a little bit on the mother a couple of episodes ago with Natsume kind of staying out. Over the weekend and uh, been a bit angry, but I look forward to seeing more of these two. We did see that at the end of the last episode as well. That last episode was episode 12, I forget. He's black. <laughs> this actually him. He hasn't said anything, which is strange. Why is he not talking? This isn't him, is it? He, he, yeah, you know something's wrong. You know something's wrong. There he is. I've oh, got the biggest mouth ever. Yeah, you could understand if he was like an oil spill or something. I don't know. Oh, well, not anymore. <laughs> Look at that, that was swift. Honestly, pretty good job from this cat. That undercover mission. It's bad, isn't it? Because don't, you don't want to leave this so long. Sense, like I said, though, I feel like I'd be quite scared to know what could be done with it in however many hours they leave it. Willow wisps. Fires. I forget what a Willow Wisp actually is, but obviously that's a moving Pokemon. Is he covering his scent here? Yeah. He's so smelly and big. <laughs> He's covering that.
Daniel. <laughs> ah, your sword. Lovely, huh? <laughs> Butanaka. Butanako. That sounds so disrespectful, doesn't it? Like, as an English person, even not even under. I, I think we can understand. Buta definitely doesn't mean something good. But yeah, even as like, an English person, I, I can have a. Uh, Watching anime a lot, I can have a. Um, a slight understanding of what that means, but just like it's just the sound of it just sounds awful, doesn't it? Um, I'm just going to quickly Google what a willow wisp is. Like I said, I, I I have a little bit of an idea, but I don't really know, and I'm quite interested actually. I'm really interested in a lot of the terms. Again, I've heard them throughout media. Uh, willow wisp. Uh, phos for phosphorescent. Bloody hell. A phos or a phosphorescent light seen hovering or floating at night or on marshy ground. Thought to be a result of combustion of natural gases. Do you know what was something I was really interested in as a kid? Spontaneous combustion. I don't think it's a real thing, but um, I, I don't know why I was always quite interested in that. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Again, in Pokemon, obviously, that's a, that's a move that burns an opponent. I guess that checks out. <laughs> she got terrified of that. Art rendering. Well, her reaction didn't say that. Oh, there he is. Little rat. What's his deal? A bit famous around these parts, has he? Just like his grandma. How untrue that was.
So this does serve as a little bit of a recap episode as well, a little bit, doesn't it? Had a few things that we that are just like the premise of the show that we already know. I wonder who this lord is that they're talking about. And that's nice. Should you be drinking, but that's the road has been sealed away. There's a few interesting background designs, isn't there? Like <laughs> on the left. I saw one earlier that looked a little bit like Elizabeth from uh, Gintama. Sad. Not actually, just kind of sad, right? What is the deal with this guy? He's like the complete opposite of Nianko Sensei. Oh, does he want to stop what's going on here? Do you reckon? It'd be nice if he could, if he could talk, <laughs> so we can find out. Yeah, does he want us to help stop this? Is it the Lord? Okay, okay. Our rendering sounds like a good thing to me. Ah. 
What is it? What is his name? I had a feeling that would be the case. The Lord. I feel like I almost might be disrespectful to ask for the name, I don't know. Ah oh, shit, got a bunch of drunk yokai coming at us now. Rio Sama. Oh shit, is this like a Pegasus? I oh, know, it's, it's an angel. Shit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> they took the form of a young boy. Yeah, maybe Mr. Mallow can relate a little bit to this. He's a nice guy, isn't he? So it doesn't look like we'll ever see him again. Shame. Mm -mm. Yeah, a non talkative cat. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, quite relatable for, uh, for Madara there, perhaps. As much as he will never say it. <laughs> oh, thanks.
I can imagine what that feels like for the yokai. I imagine that's a very familiar feeling. Probably a thing that happens more often as well. Okay, I'm already loving the start of this song we got here. Sounds like it's going to be lovely. Yeah, good episode. Good first episode back. Like I said, comes as a bit of a, almost like a recap of just like the premise of the series, which I'm not sure was needed, of course, but as a, as a good episode. Bit more wholesomeness with uh with Nyanka sensei this time, isn't it? Like all those footsteps. Okay, I can't wait to listen to the full version of both of these songs. Oh, look at that, the snow rabbit. So we've got a couple of statues we're going to be covering. Okay, snowy, uh, snowy atmosphere. Again, what a cute little snow rabbit that was. It was alive, I'm pretty sure, as well. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. The next episode looks good, doesn't it? But um, yeah, good uh, good return here. Like I said, it feels like this is like a return episode. Of course, again, there's a year in between seasons. Obviously, for me, it's only a couple of days. So um, yeah, obviously, I don't I don't really need it. But um, it was a good kind of returning episode, wasn't it? A good solid episode to get us back into the uh, the swing of things. And again, some nice uh, topics covered with the whole memories and um, especially again from Madara's perspective as well, um, relating a little bit to the uh, to the Lord right there. He was pretty cool. But um, yeah, nice episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. I'm um, going to look forward to the hit hearing both of the full version of the opening ending uh, probably right after this. Um, and again, next episode looks like a, another fun one here. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys there and have a good rest of your day.